as we kind of segue into what the people oh, want to talk is. about. <laughs> yeah, dig it, I'm saying. Let's uh, talk about it. Relationships. Let's oh, go. Jesus. Fuck boys. What about them? So, are you in a relationship? <laughs> I've been married for 12 years. Okay. 12 years married. Are you in a relationship? Single, ready to mingle. What's up? I know all the fellas be watching Cam Newton, so DM me. Swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> at B. Dot Simone or at the B. Simone. Come on DMs now. DMs are open. Uh, come on, all inquiries. Oh my God. But <laughs> at the end of the day, you have to understand what you're, what, what you're attracting. Yeah. I don't think, you know what? And I've actually stopped attracting bullshit because I've stopped being on bullshit. What's bullshit though? Um, the fun time, the um, temporary, temporary surface, surface no, no depth. I, I had my phase where I was having fun, mm -hmm. where I was just like, oh, you want a husband? You're not acting like a wife. You don't want a husband, sweetie. Mm -hmm. You're dealing with men that you know that don't want to commit, and you're choosing to, to entertain this fun time. Right. So, you know, once I sat down, I've been celibate for a while. I was in a relationship, but I was like, just sit down, wait, focus, grow you, focus on you, become the best version of you, and, and when it comes, it comes, you right. know? But I think requiring so much from a man, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. He gotta be a family man. Mm -hmm. Are you close with your family? Uh, mm -hmm. I gotta go back to Dallas and mend some shit uh, with my mama. He gotta be close to God. Are you uh, the closest you can be to God? Come on. He gotta be, the, he gotta have discipline. You can't put down the food, the carbs. Mm -hmm. How much discipline do you have? Right. Mm -hmm. So once I start listing those things and I want this type of man, okay, and I said this and got canceled for it, I'm gonna say it again. You want this type of man? Well, what type of woman does he need to have by his side? Absolutely. So mm -hmm. become that woman. And that's Everybody's the same thing for men. Yeah, I was say, that's yeah the same thing for men. Thing for men. Cause, cause become the best version of yourself. Listen, in order for the tribe to be profitability and, and to have abundance, the leader of that tribe has to be healthy. Mm -hmm. They have to. Hurt people hurt Come on. people. Physically, mm -hmm. mentally. If you're a yeah. toxic... The only thing that you're going to attract is, is toxicity. Toxic. Yep. Come on. You see what I'm saying? Come on. And I'm not here to throw on women. I've never been in, in a position yeah. to throw on women. Yeah. I'm here to say right is right and wrong is wrong. Yep. Mm -hmm. It don't yep. matter how much motherfucking money you got, bro. You still lame as shit. I right. said that many, <laughs> many, many times. You I know agree. What I'm saying? I agree. And I've also been saying, like, you know, bad bitches and this, that, and the third. Like, we don't, I don't, I don't want to keep giving them their flowers if they aren't what they need to be for their partner. I get it. And, and their partner that, that they're giving, right? Uh, sus, stop giving a fuckboy king's rewards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real yeah. shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know what yeah. I'm saying? I agree with that. And I think a lot of dudes think just because I got the financial capabilities, I can get away with certain shit. Yeah, to a degree. Yeah. Right? And I say that degree to, to, to understand a lot of cats... They don't have real life figures in their lives that move the way that they need to move. Mm. So mm. if I, I'm Cam Newton, right, and I'm sitting up here, I got million dollars coming in left and right, and my supporting cast is a bunch of bachelors, how can I sit up here and be a husband or a family man? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Who's holding you accountable? Who? Yep. <laughs> Who's back to that conversation? Who's holding you accountable? Who? Because I hear, I hear the discussions, I hear the topics, and I hear the talks, and I love the, the, the Brittany Renner kind of conversation. And it's all about, man, y'all take offense to a woman who's speaking real shit. Yeah. But it's, 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 it's accountability on both parts. And even on our part, we take accountability. Mm -hmm. Like our last episode, Megan said, I have not always been the perfect wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you, we, I take accountability. Oh, he's a fuck boy. Well, you, you're choosing to sleep with him. So yeah. what does that make like you? you. Mm -hmm. He's yep. a dog. You're sleeping with a dog. Mm -hmm. So what does that make you? Yeah. Women are making these choices to be in relationships right. with these men. Right. So we also have to take a step back and be like, why am I attracted to these type of men that are supposedly fuck boys? Why am I allowing them to do certain things self to me? Because reflection. self reflection. Mm -hmm. Self reflection. I, and you know, you, we got to take accountability too. Absolutely. But I'll tell you this though: out of your 32 years of living. Mr. Right done crossed your path. Multiple you think times. so? I know so. Probably different. I feel like different men. For real? But I, I don't, because I don't believe that there's just one person for you. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But I'll say it yeah. like this. 
a lot of a lot of women feel just a lot like a lot of men feel like, man, I want I want somebody to look like this. I want him to be like this. I want her to do this. I want mm-hmm, them. To, mm-hmm. They've came mm-hmm. in your path, right? Right. But I get then what you're you said, uh, uh-uh, uh, he uh-uh. a UPS driver. Yeah. Uh, uh-uh, uh, he a school teacher. Yeah. Uh, uh-uh, uh, she work at you know da 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 da. Look at him trying to say he got a nine to five. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> But okay. that's the dude that, <laughs> that's the dude that you need, right? Mm-hmm. Not who you want. Yeah. Because you look in the mirror and you see a ten, the world sees you at a three. Mm. Mm-hmm. Damn. Like mm-hmm. real shit. Yeah. And a lot of women are going about certain different things from, you know, battling issues with themselves. Oh, my titties need to be bigger. Oh, my ass need to be bigger. Oh, I got to put on this and I got to put on that. The physical stuff. The physical. Yeah, the surface stuff. But they're not tapping into... Like, let me, let me, let me sit my ass down somewhere. I done been going out for the last but three nights. But that's not a trend. Jesus. It's not a trend. That's not popular. It's not. It's not what's trending right now. What's trending is get your ass done. Get your body done. Mm-hmm. Look a certain way. What does it look like on social media? What kind of car do you drive? What bag do you have? Mm. That is the trend. Mm. So if we and and we have to take accountability as a culture on what we are applauding. Right. Ooh, come on. So who do you applaud, Miss? Come Megan? on. Who's doing it the right way from a from a relationship I standpoint? Uh, or I don't even know. A- to be honest with you, because everyone's relationship is. You surface know, level. It's, it's, well, it's private. I don't know what goes everyone, on behind closed doors. But you, know you still what I'm saying? can admire somebody from afar from I would what say you see. Tabitha, Tabitha Brown and her husband, we mm. just had, her, just on had pa- her on the podcast, and I admire the way he speaks about her. Right. I admire the way she speaks about him. I admire that when she was becoming an actress and on the grind, he was he working moved. a full-time job. Yep. Right. And then when she got popping, she retired him. Yep. You know yep. what I mean? After working yep. 15 years, I think. They've been together 24 the, years, married 19. Married 19 mm-hmm. years. Yeah. And I think he did 15 years as a police officer. And when she got, you know, her career took off, she retired him so that yep. he could do what he really loved to do, yep. coaching basketball for kids and stuff like that. So I admire that. I don't, obviously, we don't know what we goes don't on know behind right. the reality. Right. Yeah. But from what I see, from what I hear, the way they engage with each other, I admire that. Yeah. That's what I look yeah. for. The, the issue that I have with, with people and relationships is this. They, they fall so in love with the Louis Vuitton side of the closet, right? The Gucci side, the... Hermes side, that when you start peeling back the layers and you start getting real mm-hmm. down and dirty to <laughs> understanding mm-hmm. who this you person is. You don't even really like is. the person you're with. You don't even no. like, as a person. You don't even like you, let alone yeah, yeah, the them. Person. them. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. to that point, my thing is, if you're B. Simone, mm-hmm. right, you're so easy to love. Right? Because they're going to see, oh man, this girl popping, blah, 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 blah. You are anybody's you know what I'm saying, prize. But to that degree, I'm saying that person don't understand you're battling depression. Mm-hmm. That person may mm-hmm. not understand that you're your, fighting. My family trauma, mm-hmm. all the stuff that. I still have to heal from, the Correct. stuff I'm working on, the stuff I'm Correct. journaling every day and praying about and asking God for discipline yeah. so I can have consistency, so I can meditate every day instead of once every six months because mm-hmm. I'm not consistent with it. The stuff I'm working on, that that's what makes it hard to love. Right. When you really get to know the real person outside of the internet. Yeah. Outside of these fucking pictures that you scroll past every day. Going, going back to what I'm saying, it's just like, it's so tough tough to find the real shit and on the surface level yeah you know being with me being doing this doing that yeah we can go to Peru yeah we can go to Abu Dhabi yeah we can go to Barbados yeah we can go to Miami but when I'm at the crib and I'm battling a porn addiction Mm -hmm. when I'm battling other woman temptation when I'm battling you know insecurities where hey where you at no, no, no. You need to get your ass here now. Man. Control issues. Man. You Man. have to be patient as a partner to say, is this the baggage that I really want to pick up? Mm-hmm. And if I do pick up, even if he is a high value man or a high value woman, I can still be patient to, to see it through. But what's the definition of high value? Are we talking monetary and popular? Yes. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because all people aren't created equal to that, to that degree. Okay. When, when I say, or I'll give you an example, and I always use this one. When you go to a club, how many men 
are able to give you what you want. At a club? At a club. Zero. <laughs> Keep it a buck. <laughs> out of ten. I would say none. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One in a possible. Let's just maybe. keep it Maybe. 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 Okay, now maybe. when I go to the club, how mm. many women can give me what I want? Mm. All, All ten. Mm. See what I'm saying? And just being fully transparent, just being fully funky, you yeah. know what I'm saying, in this situation, a lot of people can't cope with that because they'll see you like, oh, man, I'll never do this. I'll never do that. I'll never cheat on my wife. I'll never cheat on my girlfriend. I'll never do this. But the temptation ain't the same for you, sir. Mm -hmm. The temptation ain't the same for you, uh, sweetheart. Yeah. And I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the people that I want God to bring in my life is the people that align with what my vision is. Yeah. And it's tough because I said it earlier. How do you know who's really for you when anybody will go with you? Well, that goes back to what you were saying on the Brittany Renner episode. Talk about the what am I holding you accountable to? Yeah, I think that... I'm not I'm not in the dating world, so I don't mm -hmm. know what this is like to, you know, for that. But I feel like as a woman, I need to know that you're held accountable to something like if it, what spiritually, what are you held accountable to? What does your circle look like? If you're saying that you're a man that believes in monogamy and you want marriage and you want a family do you surround yourself with men, like-minded yeah. men? Yeah. Are all your friends bad? Like, I need to know that you're going to surround yourself with, like, you surround yourself with men that if that temptation is there, you got somebody Let's that's go, like, bro. hey. Mm -hmm. Come on. You tripping. You Come tripping. On. You tripping, bro. Come, Come on. I got you. Yeah. What yeah. you doing? Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. Because they see not only you, but they see everything connected to mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, and I know that you love her. Right. And I don't want... I don't want that for you. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? That's important. But a lot of times, women, women and men, we're so, we can get tunnel vision and just see the prize mm -hmm. or what we think is the prize. Yeah. And we're not looking at everything surrounding that. Right. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll say as a person that's been married, I didn't think about getting married and adding his family, like what that looked like. Mm -hmm. You're not just marrying him. You're, you're marrying, marrying everything. His everybody yeah. attached to that. Everything. Everything out like physically and everything attached to that person, their yeah. past, yeah. their trauma, their triggers. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. And I just don't think we take full in consideration because we talked about this. When I say I love you or when you love somebody, mm. you're not just like when you get married, you're not just loving that person that you're marrying that day. Mm -hmm. You have to be willing to love the possibilities of a person. Right. Am I willing to love you through every possibility? The potential. The potential. The potential that you may hurt me. Mm -hmm. The potential that this could get better. Right. Maybe you're not at the job that I see that you could be mm -hmm. later on, mm -hmm. but I see that you have the potential to do that. Right. You see what I'm saying? And, and taking the full consideration of what it means to really love a person. Right.